I think everybody wants Hamas destroyed, but I think the, the position Netanyahu seems to be taking, and I'm wondering how you feel about him these days, is that destroy Hamas at all costs. There was a man who I made fun of a lot on this show about a year ago, year and a half ago. Uh, he was a guy over in Pennsylvania running for senator against Dr. Oz. The whole thing seemed like it was made up. His name was John Fetterman. He had had some medical episodes. It seemed like he was partially mentally deficient. Something was not right. And he was a pretty far left progressive. In the last year and a half, as his brain has started working again, literally, he is becoming the most sane Democrat in the Senate. When we show you that meme of the wackos going that way, he is a guy going, something ain't right with you people. I'm still a Democrat. It says D on my door in the office, but I'm going to come back this way. And now he represents what a sane Democrat, even though I disagree with him on a bunch of stuff, he now represents what a sane Democrat would be. We've got a tweet here from the New York Post. Senate, Senator John Fetterman blasts squatters, violent crime. I am not woke. So you have someone on the Democrat sa side saying enough is enough. There is no such thing as squatters rights. He's not woke. He gets it. It's wild. The man was a somewhat crazy lefty when he had brain damage. And as his brain healed, he became sane. He became old school liberal, let's say. I'm pretty sure Robert De Niro and, and Robin Williams were in that movie, Awakenings. It's pretty much that story. Uh, anyway, as one of the other things we've seen the Democrats go completely insane on, and there's a version of it happening on the right with, let's say, Tucker, uh, is obviously Israel. Here is John Fetterman uh, defending Israel qu quite cleanly and in common language and in a way that I think virtually everyone can and should understand. I, I think everybody wants Hamas destroyed, but I think the, the position Netanyahu seems to be taking, and I'm wondering how you feel about him these days, is that destroy Hamas at all costs. Mm. You know, they say most of the, many of the victims now are women and children, clearly very, very innocent. I know what you're saying, no life is better than the, than the other, we understand that. But at what point do you say we have to come up with another strategy that at least keeps the, the, the innocent, the women and the children, safe? Well, it, it, it is in, it very important to minimize the, the kind of collateral damage and, and protecting civilization lives as, as well. And I would hope that Hamas decides to not starting to hide behind civilians and creating those circumstances that makes it even more difficult as, as well. And but it, that seems to be their strategy too, Senator, to hide behind. Yeah, yeah, that, that yeah. is their strategy. And, and now even in hospitals or in the tunnels and everything. And we also can't forget about the hostages as well, too. They've been now in, co in custody now since October 7th. So it, it's an awful situ situation. And you don't have to agree. You don't have to agree with every uh, leader's uh, views. But, you know, we have an opportunity to, to, to stand with Israel in this situation. And, and that's what I've decided to do. It's so interesting because Gail King, it's like, lady, uh, yes, women and children have been killed. That is the fault of Hamas who hide amongst them. Fetterman lays that out. Everything Fetterman's saying there, and even, you know, in, in a weird way now, I sort of somewhat regret uh, or something like even making fun of him because of the hoodie. Because the guy is just becoming a normal, decent guy sitting up there laying out basic truths. Like how are Western civilizations supposed to fight total barbarians who want their own people killed, right? So the point I'm showing you there is that it doesn't take a rocket scientist to bring people over to the same camp right now. Like, I, I'm not going to vote the same way as John Fetterman in that he is a Democrat, but he's now trying to represent something sane on the Democrat side. So the question really for all of us is what is the sane thing on the right? 